Welcome to Engineering Python. This is a Python programming course for engineers. In this video, I will talk about how to customize Matplotlib line colors, line styles, and markers. I have already shown examples in two previous videos. In this video, I will showcase all the possible choices so you can use this as a reference. Matplotlib uses strings to define different colors when we do plotting. The syntax is very simple. We just need to assign the exact color string to the color parameter. This image shows the most commonly used colors and their color strings. Note that their names don't contain spaces. Line styles can be customized by passing a tuple of numbers to the line style parameter when the plot function is called. Possible choices of line style tuples are shown in this image. You don't have to understand what each number means in a tuple. You only need to pick the right tuple associated with the line style you want. For example, if I want to show my plot in densely dashed lines like this one, I just pick this tuple, 0, 5, 1, and assign it to line style. We can customize marker style and size using these two parameters. Mark size is very easy to understand. The marker can be a single character string. It can also be an integer number. For example, an integer number 9 will mark the data points using the triangles pointing to the right. A string with a plus character will mark the data points using the plus signs. A string with a lowercase letter x will mark the data points using unfilled crosses. A string with an uppercase letter x will mark the data points using field crosses. Now let's see an example that uses these line colors, styles, and markers. Before we start, we need to turn on the Jupyter Notebook renderer so we can see all the plotting results in this browser. We need to import pyplotlib as plt. We also need to import numpy as mp. Next, we create the data arrays we will use for this example. X contains 15 points evenly distributed between negative pi and pi. C contains the cosine values of X. X contains the sine values of X. After all these preparations, let's create a figure. The size is 5 inches by 4 inches. The DPI is 80. Next, we create four axes using the subplot function two rows and two columns. In the first axis, we plot the cosine function. The line color is navy. The line style is the densely dashed line. The marker is the star. The marker size is 8. In the second axis, we plot the sine function. The line color is orange red. The line style is the densely dashed dotted line. The marker is a cross. The marker size is 8. In the third axis, we plot the negative cosine function. The line color is dark green. The line style is a solid line. The marker is a circle. The marker size is 8. In the fourth axis, we plot the negative sine function. The line color is fire brick. The line style is a densely dotted line. The marker is a plus sign. The marker size is 8. The result is shown in figure 1. Okay, that was how to customize Matplotlib line colors, line styles, and markers. The course materials are available on YouTube and GitHub. You can watch the course videos in sequence. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm Yong Wang. Thanks for watching.